to another video. Um, today I am going to be doing a little review slash testing of this Calligraphy Bliss Deluxe Art Kit that I found from Five Below. So as you can imagine, it only cost five dollars. I've been going kind of crazy with the craft section at Five Below because it has just such interesting things there. It does seem to have a lot of pretty decent stuff in it for five dollars. It says it comes with three different pen nibs, five uh, ink colors, Right there, it looks like, even though that looks like six to me, it's got um, a pencil, two, I think it says markers, those just look like pens to me, metallic markers or metallic pens. Um, and it also says that it comes with the triangle ruler, a sketchbook, and a kneadable eraser. So let's crack this open and uh, see what we got inside. So I'm already thinking about knocking some points off because there are no instructions whatsoever anywhere in here. This one says 1.1, this one has a 1.9. This one I'm assuming is a 1.5 or something. Hoo hoo, guess who was right? So yeah, they're definitely different sizes. Um, not super noticeable on the front end. It does have only five colors of ink because there are two black ink colors here but my biggest thing right now is i do not know how i am supposed to use these things like am i supposed to put the ink in here and oh gosh the plastic piece just fell please hold so this little plastic guy fell off and i assume goes back on there and this gets screwed in um but yeah i really don't have any way of knowing what's supposed to go on here oh and i forgot to pop out the triangle ruler which incidentally I actually have a larger version of um, in like a blue color. I almost wish this was kind of tinted because I could easily lose that, especially in this clear plastic. I really totally forgot it was even supposed to be there. Here is my big guy by comparison. Um, this one is looks like a two and a half inch tops by 10, 11 centimeters, which I mean, very tiny, um, so that's at best, it looks like five inches. I'm also really curious about the kneadable eraser because I've actually really wanted to try one of these for a while and I never have. Um, it does feel kind of squishy, but let's just let's find out, you know? So the eraser is kind of sticky. Um, it's even got like what looks like some color attached there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess it squishes. I guess my biggest confusion is like, is it going to stay sticky like this? Or do I need to be conditioning it more or what? Again, I don't really have any instructions or any idea what I am supposed to be doing with any of these supplies. I straight up do not know where my pencil sharpener is. Not to mention, I, I only have like one of those tiny little handheld ones. So um, I guess we're just not gonna be trying the pencil. Um, oops, sorry if any of you care about that. Um, I kinda care, but you know, not enough to go run to the store for a, uh, for a pencil sharpener. Now the trouble is I don't know how to take the cap off of I'm assuming this is a cap. Is this even a cap? Or is this just gonna explode on me when I open it up? I don't. Okay, so let's look at the nib here. I can't really see anything inside. I don't know. This whole thing makes me nervous. So I always thought you were supposed to like dip these things. I don't know. I really don't know. So it only goes in this way. The fat end won't go in. The skinny end will. Maybe I'm just supposed to... Oh, Sterling. I just wonder if it's this side. I'm so afraid that this is just gonna go everywhere. You know, I'm gonna look something up and I will come back. Okay, so according to the internet, I am just supposed to stick this all the way in as far as I can and it will pop the seal kind of like a super glue. So let's see if we can hear it. I'm gonna break this. I'm telling you right now that I'm going to break it. 
Um, if I didn't mention this, I don't think I actually did. This paper is horrendously thin. I mean, you could 100% see in my hands through the sheet of paper. I'm apparently just stalling because I don't want to figure out how to use this. Or rather, in my heart, I know that it's just not gonna work. I think I'm gonna look up a couple more things and see if I can get any more information, but if not, I'm gonna 100% call this a fail. Don't waste your money. So uh, I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> I finally got it working. Okay, so it took a hot minute and a handful of times of pulling this out, pulling it back in, pulling it out, pulling it back in, and really trying to force it in there. Eventually, I did hear a pop, though. So it has popped. Um, things started coming out. I was tapping on it to get the uh, ink to come out, and it does now. So that's really exciting. So there's, like, the flat side, the um, skinny side, I guess. Um, so I'm not an expert at calligraphy by any means. Don't let anything that I say here fool you. I have seen a handful of um, tutorial videos and given a shot at it with my Tombow markers. I did buy those when they were on sale, I think during Black Friday a couple years ago. So I thought I might just kind of zoom in real close on what the top of this looks like. Um, it's definitely got this like kind of hole, I suppose, that the ink is coming out of, um, which isn't exactly what I expected it to look like, but it definitely works as well, opposed to what I previously thought. All right, next I'm gonna go for the green with the 1.5 nib. For some reason, I imagined that I would like the bigger nibs better, so I'm gonna put black in the biggest and it kept the tiny ones with the color I really didn't like. Um, and I especially wanted to try this one first in case I, I broke it all over the place. I wouldn't be sad if I lost all the ink. So that's kind of my logic and what I'm doing here, but yeah, so um, here's the nib. Uh, silver side down, take the skinnier side of the bullet I don't know what to call this cartridge cartridge sounds correct um, so I got it in there and it's kind of loose right now so what I did is I kind of grabbed it from the bottom with these two fingers and just pushed so let's see if we can hear it go Once again it's not totally working and it's stuck so I'm gonna pull it out check the seal but yeah I got stuck in there and didn't pop um, as you can see it's got this kind of like round sort of seal, I suppose, there. Um, and that's what needs to go away. So I'm gonna stick it in again, see if I can make it pop this time. Sound, yay, did you hear it? I hope you did. Um, because I'm really stressed about doing things like that. So um, I'm going to, oops, can't forget this strange tiny piece that everyone in the world is going to lose. Pop that back on there. End of the pen, and let's see if she writes. Oh, 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 yay, yay, it's coming. Just a couple more taps maybe. Yay, it's working. I didn't like this color as much as I thought I was going to. I definitely like the bigger one better, so I'm glad I made that executive choice that I like the bigger ones. I don't know what it is about them that I like more specifically. I think maybe it's just the contrast between the thin lines and the thick lines that I think makes a difference. But yeah, I definitely like this better and it works. It looks almost lighter than I was expecting. I don't know why it's such a light shade of green. Um, maybe it's not showing as much on camera here, but it seems almost like a, like an aqua, almost teal green. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try the black one and then I will come back with my final thoughts. Black cartridge has just been popped. Um, and the black bit here that keeps falling off has fallen off yet again. All right, let's see if this one goes more immediately or if it's gonna need more time to flow. Let's see if we can just get started and see how long it takes. So I am going to start a timer right now and see how long it goes. All right, so it took almost exactly one minute for the first little bit of ink to start coming out, little dots that I kind of 
tabbed right there. Um, it came more quickly after the flicking, I will say that for sure, so definitely try to get some movement and a little bit of jabbing involved. Um, something I will say that I was really nervous about is this does not leak, like, at all. It is definitely not leaking. Um, I haven't seen a single, like, spray of anything that wasn't meant to be sprayed. Um, and so far, aside from the learning curve that had to come with putting it together, everything does work. So let's see if I can do a little... As I anticipated, I love the thick one. Looking at the back here, there's definitely some ghosting going on from the ink. Um, especially the darker color, the black is bleeding quite a bit or ghosting quite a bit. Um, so I definitely wouldn't recommend doing anything. On the other side, it is clearly bleeding a little bit uh, from this. Um, I wonder how much it would smudge and or how long it would take to dry. So there's that. Pretty immediately it does smudge. Um, I wonder if I'll just give it a little bit of extra time to dry, but there definitely is some drying time involved. Something else that I kind of like is with the nibs. Uh, you can detach this and the ink will stay, so I can just use this to replace uh, whatever pen I plan on working with. That's really nice. Um, yeah, I think it does work as advertised as long as you can, I guess, just get over the learning curve. In the interest of being thorough, I will also pop out there that the pens work. Um, maybe not as vibrant as I would like for them to be, like stand out compared to the pen here. It's not as strong, definitely. I think the silver is a little bit better in terms of standing out by comparison. Um, this one seems to be taking a hot second to get in there. They are shiny, you can definitely tell from up close that they have a lot of metallic sheen to them. I think the gold might have some glitter in it, but that does work. Well, time for my final thoughts. Well, for $5, um, not bad, actually. Um, I was definitely kind of way against it at the beginning of the video, which I will admit to, but it slowly but surely got better. Um, I think there's enough evidence here that says there was definitely a learning curve. Um, I'm not going to say that there wasn't, and I'm not going to say that it had everything that it needed, but sure enough, and eventually everything did operate the way that it was supposed to. Uh, I think the collect selection of colors is really great, and I'm really, really glad that there are, you know, is more than one. I think that makes this a little bit more fun to try, and I think it definitely made it more fun for me, knowing that I have a lot of playability opportunity with this. Um, and even when I run out of the ones I have in my three nibs currently, I know that there's still more to come. Um, definitely glad that they had the extra black because that is super, super important um, and it's very commonly used. I don't quite get the application of the metallic pens. Uh, maybe it's because I already have them too, but I mean, I guess they're kind of nice to throw in there. I just wish maybe they were a little bit better and they were advertised as markers on the box. You could definitely tell they weren't, but no, I was kind of expecting them to be a little bit smoother. Definitely nowhere near as smooth as the ink and the pens. Um, in the calligraphy pens are. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't test this out too much. Um, of course, this is like an HB pencil, a little more artist grade, but I mean, I have never had a problem not using one of these. I've just been using, you know, my regular graphite pencil for most of this, and it has operated just fine, as well as the eraser, which was like a fun little thing that I imagined kids would really enjoy if they'd never heard of this before. I mean, I didn't hear about this kind of eraser until I was probably in my junior year of college, so 21, 20-ish 20 years old. I had no idea this was even a thing. Um, and it does work uh, within reason, of course, as one would expect. Some of the darker marks are a little more difficult to erase completely, and especially on this paper, um, it leaves indents. So even if you get the markings away, the indents stay there. Um, so I think just making sure that everything is light, which may not be easy with, I don't know, six-year-old kids that might be might be collecting this kit or getting it as a gift for whatever reason. Um, and I think the only other thing in here that I haven't really touched on is the ruler, which 
I mean, it works. Again, still not super certain of this application, but it did feel nice to kind of just have a little something extra. And now I have something else to add to my ruler collection. So I guess, um, I guess everything in here actually kind of lived up to the standard or performs as expected for the price point. Um, the only thing that I think was probably the biggest dud of anything in the kit was this notebook. And I think that is because this is, I mean, newspaper, like a tissue paper almost. It does not, um, it's not thick. It does not, I mean, things are ghosting through it. Um, that leaves the indents, like I said, like you can actually tell up here. I stabbed the front page a couple of times and it has actually gone through to the second page and beyond, and beyond. Um, so, uh, and I definitely didn't want to be stabbing anything else because um, if the ink came out, I didn't want it getting on my paper or, or on, you know, maybe nice paper if I wasn't prepared to use it or on my desk or anything. So I think this was probably the biggest disappointment of the entire kit, but overall everything worked as it, so it was supposed to. Um, though it did take some time to figure out how it was supposed to work, it did, it did come about and relatively decently, I think. Um, I would definitely scrap these and just use my normal... Um, Pilot G2 pens for this because these are not wonderful, but they're not horrible. They do work if that's what you want. Um, again, I'm sure this works fine. It's just a pencil. There shouldn't really be anything wrong with it. But another thing that maybe just feels like a toss it in for something that costs maybe five cents just to kind of up the value or up what it feels like it's valued at. I love the needable eraser. I will definitely be using it outside of this eh, for the sketchbook. It's just not wonderful, but honestly, I would say that this is probably worth your your time and your money. Um, maybe not so much for anyone under 10, but I think uh, if you have a child or you personally are just starting to get into calligraphy and you want to have something to kind of test out and play around with, this is definitely a great way to get started for, I mean, only $5 and a handful of extra things that you can use in applications outside of just calligraphy because I can use this rubber eraser for a lot of things. I could always use more pens, a uh, simple sketch pencil, even the sketchbook and the ruler I can use outside of this or, you know, I mean, these are just very, what's the word I'm looking for? Versatile sorts of tools that I think were kind of nice and neatly packaged in a cute little uh, calligraphy bliss deluxe art kit. So uh, yeah, I think my final rank, I would say maybe a three and a half to four stars, depending on how comfortable you already are with calligraphy and or what uh, supplies you might already have. I would say maybe a 3.5 for me because these things I would kind of toss out and probably won't be using again too regularly. Um, so v value for money, um, I think it might, I might only be using about half the things that I got out of it regularly, but for someone new to it, definitely four stars only for because of the lack of instructions and because this calligraphy sketchbook is just bleh. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this review. It's probably going to be a long one. I can tell you that right now. It was a long one to film um, and took a, a long amount of time of research and all that, but hopefully this is something that you enjoyed and something you've gotten some use out of. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. I've never actually asked this before, but if you want to turn on those post notifications, I guess go for it. Um, that seems like something I should be saying as a YouTuber at this point, but hey, you do what you do. Um, I'm going to continue squishing this uh, kneadable eraser as a fun little stress ball for the day as I'm editing, and I hope you all have just a wonderful, a wonderful life. You can come back next Sunday at noon to see another crafty video or review or art or decorating. I don't know. I guess it's whatever I feel like, but I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then. Bye!